Alicia Girl Honey and thanks for coming back onto my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But let's get into the point of this video. As you can see from the title, Becoming a Christian Again. And the reason why I say again is because I once was a Christian and then I kind of strayed away from God. And yeah, recently I've decided to give my life back to God properly this time. I was brought up in the church by my dad, so I always had a little bit of background knowledge, should we say, about God, about the church, and I always believed in God, like I always knew deep down that he was real, and yeah, I just always knew in my heart. But recently, I've decided to give my life back to God, but um, I know a lot of you who be watching this or some of you, should we say, might be thinking, but isn't this the same girl who be putting it up in Afro Nation? A summertime, just a little while ago. Well, uh, yeah, that was me, but that was me then, and this is me now. If I constantly condemned myself or tried to feel bad about the things that I've done or continue, not continue to do, but we all make mistakes that like we're human beings. But if I condemn myself all the time and I would never give my life back to God and I knew I always wanted to, but I just kind of, you know, wanted to have a little bit of fun and do my own thing, should we say. But yeah. <laughs> so, I used to be a person that used to condemn myself a lot and I used to think, do you know what, I'm not good enough to come back to God, I do this wrong, I do that wrong, I'm never perfect, like, and I, I always try to, I always, sorry, try to, you know, get myself right before I came to God and get my life right before I came to God, thinking, no, I must be perfect, I must not do this wrong and that wrong before I come to God and and become a Christian again and it's like you don't need to do that because God says come as you are like he comes to the sinners those who do wrong he comes to you because he wants to come to you with open arms and loving arms and just cradle you and love on you and help you to grow and become better and that's the thing like we're all human beings we've made a lot of mistakes we will continue to make mistakes and i know that i will still make mistakes even though i've come and said hey god like i want to give my life back to you again i want to follow you now and i want to become a better person i know that i'm still gonna make mistakes like it's gonna happen. <laughs> Why? Because we're human. But the thing is, on a daily basis, you have to ask God to help you, to help you become better. And it is all a process. Like, I can't come to God and just expect that everything's gonna work out and everything's gonna be okay and I'm gonna be perfect and this and that. No, like, I'm slowly going to be changing and becoming a better person and becoming more like God because that's what he wants us to do. He wants us to become more like him. He is loving, humble, kind, like just all of these things. On a daily basis, like I ask God, God, like, please help me to have strength. <laughs> help me to have patience. Help me, God, to get rid of all this anger that I had inside of me, this frustration, this ability to not be able to forgive sometimes and holding grudges in my heart sometimes. And you know, like I have to ask God on a daily basis to help me with these things. Like, yeah, so I will never claim that I'm perfect because I'm not perfect. And I constantly have to ask God to help me with these things and, Sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, I have thoughts that pop into my head and it is the enemy <laughs> putting those thoughts into my head, into all of our heads sometimes. <laughs> um, but he will make you feel like you're a bad person or like when I make a mistake, I'm thinking, 
oh, you've made a mistake again and you've just given your life back to God and you've done it again. But it's like, God has to remind me and he does remind me that this is a process and you will learn. However, sometimes I'll be a little bit ignorant. I'm not gonna sit there and lie. And I willingly, let's say, make the choice to do certain things that I know that I shouldn't. And you've got this voice in the back of your head telling you, no, you shouldn't, don't do that. And then I'm like, I'm gonna do that. And I try to ignore this voice in the back of my head. But yeah, this voice in the back of your head is God. By the way, that's another thing I might talk about in another video about hearing the voice of God. And because a lot of people, I actually said this on my story on my Instagram as well, that a lot of people seem to think that God's voice is like this manly, like holy, thou art voice and that's gonna be like, don't do that and do this and you should be this and you should be that. No. Like, <laughs> it is literally you. It sounds like you. And I can only tell you that as well based on my experience and from what I've been taught and told. Um, but yeah, I'm still learning a lot as well. And being able to differentiate between the devil and God, because sometimes you'll have these thoughts creep into your mind and you are thinking, is that God or is that the devil? And it is hard to differentiate, especially when the devil tries to do it in like a sneaky way and he'll come and put these thoughts into your head and make it sound like it's from God and it really isn't. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, God knows you and he knows it's gonna be a process to change, like for you to change. And with me, like, God knows that I'm gonna continue to make mistakes, as I've mentioned before, and he wants to help me change slowly. And I have noticed certain things changing already. Like, I feel so at peace and so loved and just, yeah, like, ugh, it's so hard to explain, but I've already noticed certain changes and it's because I've gone to God and I've said, God, like, I wanna be, loving i want to be humble i want to be kind like you i want to be confident i want to have strength like god help me and i'm constantly asking god to help me with these things and he just wants you to just talk to him and just ask for you ask him sorry to just help you like and i'm asking god to do this for me and slowly i've been noticing certain things change in my life but it still be a working process because the devil really be testing me like let's just say sometimes i get into situations where some old habits should be say may stir up a bit in me and like i don't know like for example when i used to like have a short temper should we say uh, any of you who know me <laughs> will know um my time for a little bit short. <laughs> yeah, so like, I feel like that was, it still is being tested a bit, that sometimes like, oh, I wanna just scream and just go crazy at you and just, not literally crazy, crazy, but you know, just like get mad. But then God's reminding me like, hey, calm down, take a second to breathe. Think about what you're about to do or say and then you know make the right decision and i found like when i've thought about what i'm gonna do before i do it or you know before what i say or whatever and yeah like i feel like i'm able to react not re re react or, you know res or respond sorry differently and in a better way again not perfect there has been times where i have got still a little bit angry or frustrated or whatever like i'm a human it's natural but i've asked god to forgive me and to help me do better and i have been doing better but yeah it's still early days um the point of my video is to just share my first period of time with god again and i wanted to share that with you guys and also what I mentioned earlier about like 
having a relationship with God. It's like a lot of people as well think that Christianity is a religion and you must do this and must do that and you must go this way and blah, blah, blah. And if you do this or... I mean, some religious people be even thinking if you wear makeup or jewellery or have your nose pierced is so ungodly and oh my gosh, God is going to put you in hell for it and you're not going to heaven and blah, 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 blah. No, like God literally wants you to just have a relationship with him. He wants you to come as you are, broken. You could have murdered somebody yesterday hopefully not <laughs> but god will still forgive you like if you come to him and say god like i'm so sorry and you ask for his forgiveness he's not gonna sit there and say no 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 you done that yesterday there is no way i'm forgiving you you're a bad person that is not god that is not who he is and god wants to forgive you he wants to love you he wants to shine through you i just do what's right and be humble kind and all of these things but yeah so a lot of religious people should we say think that think i think a certain way should we say and that's not the right way like that's not what god wants god just wants you to build a relationship with him he just wants to slowly help you change and yeah like use you for the purpose that you've been put on this earth to do like we've all individually been put on this earth for a purpose god wants us to shine bright he wants us to be successful he wants us to have money he wants us to help others to be successful he wants us to help others to know who he is and like become more like him he wants to make a more loving world but yeah it's so easy saying all of this but the devil <laughs> yeah the devil really be getting in the way of that because he don't want that he wants everybody to fight and get angry and not be successful and argue and all of these things and just be depressed oh hell yeah depression is a big thing at the moment because there is just this heavy weight on a lot of people feeling depressed feeling suicidal and yeah i've been there and i've mentioned it in one of my other videos as well that i felt like that's so bad at one point and then again recently like i felt it so heavy on me again like i felt so down and i was just crying like god what is going on like what is happening to me i hate this feeling and that is the devil and because when i'm feeling like that i'm then thinking no like i'm so depressed i'm so down i'm not gonna be successful i'm not gonna do this i'm not gonna be that and god's there like come on girl like that's not you like that's not you he doesn't want you to be like that he wants you to be happy he wants you to feel joy and all of these things but yeah so i know i've mentioned as well like that when i've like recently following god and deciding to follow him like i have felt so at peace and so loving and like just different in myself on the flip side of things i've also been fighting this battle should we say that because the enemy really be testing me a lot and some situation be really thrown out my way and yeah like this depression as well like was really heavy on me because it was heavy on me before and that's what kind of made me come to god as well and it's like i was like god i don't want to be like this anymore i don't want to do this anymore like I don't wanna be that person. I wanna be successful. I wanna have an amazing life. I wanna have an impact on a lot of people's lives. I wanna help people. I wanna be married. I wanna have a marriage that's founded in God. Like a man that loves God so much that, ah, oh, mm, mm, mm. like it's just, ah, oh, I 
can't begin to explain but uh let me not get into that <laughs> but yeah so i want to be married i want to have a family i want to just you know be happy and I know I can't do that on my own. Anyway, let me not go on and on and on with this video, but I just wanted to share with you guys these little things, how I've been feeling, what I've been doing, and yeah, just like my journey as well. And just, I wanna be honest with you guys, do you know what I mean? And I don't wanna come on here and make it seem like, oh, everything's just perfect, everything's just amazing, and I'm always happy. Because, yes, I do smile and laugh a lot, as some of you might notice. But sometimes I do go through hard times and sometimes I do feel really down. And, yeah, but the difference is now is that I can go to God and ask God to help me and to strengthen me and give me peace and to just help me to be a better person on a daily basis. And now that I can go to Him and I know that I'm not alone. Like, I was never alone. Like, God was always there riding out for me and helping me but I was just really ignorant. The main thing is the fact that I'm here now, I've decided to follow God now and I want to help others as well to follow God and to come to him. Another thing as well that I wanted to mention is that like as a parent as well, like I've, let's say like I had some ways about me that wasn't great should we say, like I was let's be honest like being a parent is hard like and a lot of you guys will know that like it is tough and challenging and you try to do your best for your child and you try to you know bring them up in the right way and do the right things but sometimes we don't always have the right answers so another thing as well that i've been asking god to help me with is becoming a better parent and being able to understand my son more and you know, help him to become a better person. I've asked God to guide me in those ways. And I've noticed as well, like, for example, sometimes like if he'd do something wrong, I'd like, I don't know, shout at him or like say, no, like that was wrong. Don't do that da -da -da -da, straight away. Rather than trying to understand why he's done something wrong or, you know, trying to just like talk to him about why he did what he did was wrong and why he should do this and not that and like yeah i've just noticed that like well i've asked sorry god for more patience and guidance and yeah i've just noticed like things like that have just been changing in me and even he's noticed that because he's noticed that like i'm i'm changing and i'm not like i don't get frustrated so quickly should we say or I'm not saying I do that all the time, although before you guys like be saying, oh my God, she's a bad parent. No. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just saying that I've noticed these things changing about me and it has reflected on him. And I've noticed changes in him because he's seen these changes in me and he's noticed, wow, like, mummy's this and mummy's actually talked to me about why I did it wrong. And then it's able to help him understand why he did it wrong. And then it's able to for him to understand why he shouldn't do it again and he'll more likely not do it again although you know kids be challenging and that and uh, <laughs> yeah they be doing stuff that will test you <laughs> but um yeah i've just like noticed changes in him basically and that is like a representation of god as well in saying that god wants to use you he and he wants to reflect through you like i don't want to sit here and be preaching at you and and saying you should do this and you should do that and, da -da -da, and this is right and that's right da -da -da -da. but i want my actions and my words yeah to show god's love and like god wants me to god wants sorry to use me to show his love through me and like through my actions so you know when someone's seeing you act a certain way or you know just the way you present yourself like they'll be like, hold up, she's actually like a good person or she's actually humble or she's actually quite loving and, you know, and why is that? And then they know that you believe in God and you follow God and this, that and that. And they're like, hold on, I want to know who that God is because she used to be like this and now she's like that. And it's like, wait, 
But wait, like, I want to know who that God is because uh, that God be good. <laughs> yeah, like with my son, I've noticed that he's behaving better and he's also shown an interest into God himself as well. Like, we went to church like the last few Sundays. By the way, guys, I'm now officially a part of Light London Church. It is amazing. It's actually based in London and yeah, I travel nearly a good two hours to get there. But best believe it is worth it. Like, it is just amazing. But I'll include all their details down below, like their Instagram and so forth, in case you guys want to check them out. But yeah, so we went to church like the last few Sundays there and he's loved it. Like, as much as he tries to deny it a little bit, like, you can see it in his face. Like, I remember the first Sunday, and he was like, at the start, he was like, oh, like, it's so boring. Like, no, sorry. First of all, when we woke up in the morning, he was like, excited, etc., etc., because sometimes we have little talks about God, and we pray sometimes, and, but I don't like to pressure him, pressure him, sorry, or force him too much, force him at all, sorry. So he was really excited that morning, but then when we got there, he was like, oh, this is boring, like, da 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 But then he went into, like, this children's church, because at church, most churches will have, like, children's little church where, like, they'll take all the kids, so probably under about 14, 13 or whatever, and then they'll take them to, like, a little room and, like, they'll go and do activities together and, like, you know, talk about God and, like, do activities so they are able to understand and learn about God, like, but in a fun way that... You know, because you have to stoop to their level a bit and try and, like, relate to them in the way that they feel like they can understand. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, he came out of that, and then he was like, oh, my God, mummy, like, we did this, we did that, da -da -da, and we're doing a Christmas play. Like, and then he was like, oh, are we coming back next week? I was like, oh, do you want to come back next week? And he was just like, well... If you want to, and I was like, well, do you want it? And he was just like, oh, yeah, like I want it because we got to do the play, and you know I've got to do it now. And I was just like, oh, then so cute, like. And you could just tell, like, he loved it, like he loved it, like he did. <laughs> and then, so yeah, just more and more I've noticed as well, like the more, for example, I'm playing gospel music in my house or like he hears me praying or reading the bible or something and he seems more interested now and then sometimes as well like he'll be praying on his own like he'll come and tell me like my mate like i prayed for bed and this and that and it's just so cute <laughs> but yeah so like i don't believe as well that like like i said like preaching to people too much and like pressuring them to do be a certain way or do this or do that like you can only well you you can only yeah like spread the gospel of like jesus and just like tell people about him and like guide them and stuff but you don't want to pressure them and then that's with my son like i told him about god and you know i tried to like guide him and stuff and that's my job as a parent anyway to guide him and bring him up in the right way that i best believe and yeah like just doing that and not pressuring him and then him watching my actions and the way i'm different and the way i'm better as a person and better as a mum to him he's it's then brought drawn him in more to god and like he's wants to know more about him he wants to go to church more he he's even talking about his dad like believing in god and he wants his dad to come to church and all of these things like and you can see the excitement on his face like i remember when he came home and he told me that his dad now believes in god and he was like mommy like i can't believe it and you could just see the excitement on his face so recently he was even asking his dad to come to church and yeah, like he just seems so excited but my point is it's all about your actions and what you portray and but that's what god wants to do and that's what god wants to use you to do so um anyway i have been babbling a lot in this video and i'm gonna shut up now because uh yeah i think i don't want you guys to get bored but yeah thanks again for watching guys and if there's anything that you want me to talk about or if there's anything in this video as well that 
you feel like you might want questions on, answers on, sorry, and you feel like there's something that I may be able to help you with, or if you wanna just know more about God, like I will try and help you in every way that I can in the best ability that I can with the knowledge that I have. And then if I feel like it's something that I can't cover or, you know, I don't have much knowledge in it, I will guide you to the right person to do that. But um, thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you've liked this video. And yeah, I'm going to try and share my journey with you regularly. And I'm still going to be doing videos on this channel as well, of like challenges, you know, vlogs. But yeah, <laughs> thanks again for watching, guys. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. But yeah, bye, guys.